Okay, hi guys. This is a project I've been wanting to do for a while. So I got a couple of these Tim Holtz configurations boxes at Tuesday morning a while ago when they had them and they were $2.99 and you know they come like this with the lid with the clear piece of acetate like that. And then I found a square one somewhere and it might even be in one of my haul videos. I don't remember where. It could be from Tuesday morning. It could be from Goodwill. I don't remember honestly. But I have a square one in the two rectangles and I really like the printer's trays like Shannon Green has all of her vintage sequins in. If you've seen her new studio video here on YouTube, um, totally jealous Shannon of your printer's trays. I cannot afford one at $50 each, but I would love to have one, but this is going to be my poor man's version because I have piles of little stuff all over my work table. I have my bits bucket, which you guys have seen before, and then I'm gonna turn the camera just a little bit. Okay, yeah, I have that pile of stuff. There's more underneath the table. Little bits and parts that I want to use in current or future journals that I don't wanna put away because I wanna use them in, in projects I'm really currently working on. But at the same time, I need a better way to organize them so I can see what I have easier and um, maybe just have it on the shelf, which is up above the camera um, and can, easy for me to pull the tray down, get what I want, put the tray back. That would be really great. And as I um, have room in the tray, I could pull more things out of my stash of stuff and, and fill up the little trays. That would be really handy. So anyway, so we are going to configure these together and something similar to what you see here. I debated using the lids also, but they do not have a bottom and I could use some chipboard and make a bottom, but I'm kind of lazy and I don't know that I want to do that. Um, at the same time, these pieces of acetate are great and they could either be used to, you know, write on with fabric paint or something and then and um, make prints onto paper or um, could also cut stencils out of them. It's nice acetate so that'll be saving. The first thing we need to do is paint all these because I don't want them to be this brown craft paper. So I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do some shade of blue. Of course I am. And I will speed through that and I'll be right back.
Okay, hi guys. So the insides, top edge, and a little bit of the sides of all our pieces are painted. I didn't paint them all the way down because number one, on most of them it's not going to show because they're going to be glued to or taped together. Um, and on the outer edges, they're either going to have another piece of cardboard, this kind of cardboard, that's going to be collaged, or they're going to have collage paper directly on the side. And we're going to use this corrugated cardboard for the base. First, I have to sort of reconfigure <laughs> figure out how to reconfigure these so they make sense and they're no wider than this cardboard so I am going to do that and I'm going to speed through it and I'll be back. Okay, since my board was not quite long enough, before I start gluing my pieces to it, I'm gonna, I cut it a different way to make it longer, and um, I am going to make sure it's long enough, and then I'm going to tape the two pieces together. Let's make sure it's long enough first. Because, you know, math is not exactly my strong suit. Oh yeah, now it's plenty long enough. Okay. And I'm going to move these in the order I want them to be put in on because otherwise I'm going to get it all screwed up again. And I am going to use some of this blue duct tape in case it shows. It's almost the same color blue as the paint. If I can find the edge. There we go. Tape both sides. Okay. Let's get our, I'm going to glue on this side, and let's get our pieces glued on. I am going to use a little bit of this Bond 527 multi-purpose cement, and I'm also going to use Scotch Quick Dry Glue, which is going to dry a lot faster than this will, but this will hold better over a longer period of time. So I'm going to some of that and oops put some of this doesn't really matter if you're a little sloppy because it's going to be on the bottom underneath nobody's going to see it okay I'm going to glue all the pieces down I'm going to fast forward and I'll be back
Okay, it's all glued down. We're going to let it dry. Then I'm going to trim off the excess and um, we're going to cover all of these seams with um, washi tape and um, some sort of collage medium and probably collage podge because um, washi tape won't stay by itself. And um, also we are going to um, cut an additional piece of cardboard to go along the front and the back um, edge where it's uneven and um, get that covered with some collage paper and all and finish it up. All right, I will be back after this dries. Hi guys, it's not dry yet, but I wanted to show you. So because these small sections are made to fit inside the big box, this is a little bit bigger. So um, these two outer sections are slightly larger than these here. And then this one, because it has the outer, is about the same size as these. So these two in between sections, I took an extra piece of card corrugated cardboard and cut it to fit in the little like quarter inch gap between the end of these and the end of this. And I have those glued and clamped. And so while the bottom is drying, we're going to have those dry too. Then we're going to um, wrap all the seams in internal seams in washi tape. Then we're going to wrap the outside edge in um, some other um, cardboard that I have. And then we're going to um, cover that with paper and also um, um, cover the seam here with washi tape all the way around. So first we have to let this dry. I can't do anything until it dries. All right, I will be back. Okay, it's just about dry. And I have some Scotch Expressions washi, washi tape here. And so what I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to take these little areas here and I'm going to cover all of the seams with tape. Okay, except not with that piece. It's probably better if I cut it. So I'm going to do that over all the seams. And I'm going to zoom out and you can watch me do that and I will um, speed through it and I'll be back.
Okay. Now, because this is a Scotch brand tape, it's not really like traditional washi tape. It actually um, has pretty good sticking power. But if you make one of these and you're worried about the tape coming up with use, then of course, before you, when you're done, before you do anything else, I would just give the whole thing a coat of um, like Mod Podge or Collage Podge or um, varnish or something. And I, I may do that anyway because this. If this works out for me, it's going to get a lot of use. So I, I would probably, because it's made out of paper, I would probably do that anyway. Um, anyway, now it's time to wrap the side. So I'm going to get my stuff together for that, and I'll be right back. Okay, have you ever been shopping to a big box warehouse store like Costco? And you're in the back of the store, and you're picking up your case of toilet paper. And you notice on the pallet between all the cases of toilet paper between each row, they've got this cardboard stuff. It's like a cross between cardstock and cardboard. I always want to take some home, so one day when I was there, I did. I mean, much to my family's horror. No, they barely tolerate things like that, but I did take some home. So I have two big pieces, and they're big. Um, I'm not going to completely unroll them. I think I'm going to just whack a hunk off of the end. Um, I need a two-inch piece. Um, I think I'm going to just try to cut some, I mean it's not like I don't have a lot of it, so, I don't know. As I'm doing this, I'm keeping my fingers well out of the way. And I realize some of that might not be wide enough, but I'm not too worried about it. It was free, so no problem. Okay, I am going to use the straight edge on my um, table, and I'm going to cut some two-inch pieces of this, and I'll be right back. Okay, my idea is to take this thin cardboard and wrap it around the whole thing all the way around and the two pieces should do it but first before I do that I want to cover this um, with I pulled out some scrapbooking paper that I have that's like wood grain or faux wood faux metal um, so I'm going to cut this into two inch pieces um, and we're going to cover this um, cardboard, so I'll be right back.
Okay, now I'm going to reinforce um, the sides here where the bottom meets the little containers um, with some of the blue duct tape before we cover all this up. And also ensure that we have a nice, um, clean edge. Let's see. So I'm going to do this and I'll be back. This is difficult to do on camera. Okay, so I covered all of these edges with um, the blue duct tape um, and the short sides too. And I wrapped it around the corner a little bit. So it's all reinforced. It's actually feeling pretty sturdy, a lot more sturdy than I thought it might. Make sure I'm in camera. So now we are going to take our cardboard that we decorated. Hopefully I have enough of it. Um, and we're going to wrap it around here to cover all of that stuff up. And I'm going to use a combination of, I think, extra heavy gel medium and a whole bunch of clips. It's a good thing I have a whole bunch of them. Let's see. So I think this will work. I'll try a little bit and then I'll fast forward. Let's see if this works. Yeah, that's going to work. It's already sticking it down. Okay, I'm going to fast forward through this. I will be back. Okay, now before the gel medium dries, I'm going to adjust my clips so that I can make sure they're actually holding the parts in place that I want them to, like right there. Clip. I've always been under the impression I can never have too many clips in my art studio. This would be why. All right, nothing else to do but let it dry and we'll be back. Okay, I should be cooking dinner, but I got the top, uh, the rest of the top all taped. I'm really liking the way this looks. The tape seems to all be sticking down really well. Um, I don't see anything lifting. I think it's going to do pretty well. Um, and it's a lot sturdier than I thought it would be. Um, 
But you know, and I know we needed to cover the side with the thin pieces of cardboard, but I don't think I like this. I think I want to cover this all with the blue duct tape. I like the blue duct tape. So I think I'm going to do that. If, I got, if I'm lucky, this is like the right width for this, right? Oh, and it is. And of course, I'm doing all of this and none of the glue or anything is dry. Because, you know, why would I wait? Yeah, I like that a lot. And I don't often buy solid colors of duct tape. I usually buy the pattern ones, but this one, of course, I just love the color. Yeah, I really like that. Now, as it dries, I gotta decide if I wanna put, I do have some knobs, I could put knobs on the front. I don't know if I wanna do that. I might wanna leave it plain. I was thinking all along I would put knobs on here, but I don't know about that. I prefer that. Yes, I do definitely. I like that a lot. Yep. I keep finding little pieces of tape I haven't stuck down all the way. Okay, I'm going to stop fussing with it and we're going to let it dry and we will be back. Okay guys, here is our finished faux printer's tray. I went through my um, buckets and bins that were getting crazy messy underneath my desk, my work table that we're at right now, and also my bits bucket, which I have repurposed to hold a few pens and things that I work with on a regular basis here at the table, and, um, you know, just random kind of things. Um, and I put them all into here. And now I can really easily find the broken jewelry that you all have sent me that I know I want to work with. Um, tags, small envelopes, other little bits and pieces. And I can very easily find them without having to take apart the whole other container of paper that's underneath my table. So this is going to be great for me, I can already tell. And it's big enough to hold what I need it to, and yet small enough to fit on top of my Tim Holtz and Ranger Ink stamp storage binders that are right above the camera. Um, and it fits in the space perfectly. Now, I do have knobs that I was going to put on the front of it, because I seem to be acquiring a collection of knobs. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I like knobs anyway. Um, I don't know now that I'm going to put knobs on it. I think I like it without the knobs, at least for right now. I may add them later. I don't know. Um, but I'm, I love it. Now, if you wanted to make one like this and save yourself a little money, um, you don't have to use the Tim Holtz um, containers that I used. You could save food packaging, um, small gift boxes, um, and other little small containers and make the same thing out of found objects. That would be a lot of fun, collecting the different... Um, containers. Um, I, of course, am not patient enough for that, um, so I wanted to make it immediately, so I used the containers, these containers, the ready-made ones, and plus they're all about the same size, so I didn't have to do so much cutting. 
Um, anyway, I hope you all find it useful. I hope you remember to go out and do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. I'll see you later.